Dana um, started out really uh, asking for a control room mainly was because uh, and then and then a s- sort of a booth a small booth for well actually a good size booth for drums but then as we, as we got rolling on the project he decided to go ahead and, and have a, a tracking room as well and which is a good thing that he made that decision because that opened up the view and everything Dana's needs were fairly much what many of our clients in terms of needing a control room, uh, a tracking room, and a couple of isolation booths. That's that's really all the elements of, of a modern professional recording studio. And that's that's a pretty good size project to get all the isolation right and everything. It took, I think, probably a, a, around a year to complete the en- entire the design and the building uh, process. The things that, that are unique for Dana, Dana's a, a you know, an excellent drummer and 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 does uh, a lot of you know he teaches and, and he's he's really uh, per- percussion centric so you've got to have good really good isolation you don't want drums uh, going out to the neighbors and 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 so on it's one of the louder instruments that you have to deal with and also getting good drum sounds is is really uh, essential it's, it's for modern uh, music popular music, good drum sounds are a real key to modern music. So him being a very highly respected and demanding drummer, it made it, for me, it made it a, a more of a high stakes project where I really needed to deliver really great drum sounds and, and so on. And, and I think he's real happy with, with the way it turned out in that, in that regard.